I'm here with a different video. In today's video, we have a uh, Lenovo Yoga book. And this one is a Lenovo Yoga 500. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade your RAM for these laptops. Okay, this is a, this one comes with an iCore 3. This applies for any iCore 5 or 6 or 7, as long as it's a Yoga 500. Okay. So let's open it up and let's keep this video really short and let's get into it. First thing first, you want to flip over the laptop upside down and you want to grab yourself an opening tool. I use the iFixit tool set, um, but they have a really nice good uh, screw set and the bits are really tough. They don't go bad. So we're going to be using Philips number zero from this set there should be around 10 screws down here and they all should be around around 10 screws and they're all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them so go ahead and remove all the screws all right now that we removed all the screws all you need is an opening tool if you don't have an opening tool go get yourself a guitar pick these are really really handy i cannot say how much this thing helps me around the store it's a metallic guitar pick with a soft edges and is really tough to open the cell phones laptops and everything i use this pretty much all the time in the store all right what you need to do you need to grab your guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover about one or two millimeters right there and what you want to do you want to just wiggle it around just twist it like that go all around in the front you're gonna hear a few clicks, and that's for, that's all you wanna hit, those clicks. And go all the way to the side, and then do the other side. All right, I'm not left-handed, but I'm gonna try, there we go. Do the back end, corners. Make sure you hear those clicks. Now, I have the camera in front of me, do the corners, right in the corner here. You stick it between the top and the bottom cover and just try to open it where the fan is you stick it there in the middle at the back and you want to put it back down and you want to grab the top cover and just wiggle it around it will come out if yours doesn't come out sometimes this foam thing is stuck gets stuck to the hard drive because of the overtime and the heat so just yank it up and it will just rip this foam a little bit all right and down here the ram is not visible because it's under this uh, copper shielding or plastic shielding what you need to do is to you do not need to remove the battery people are like oh no you must remove the battery is not absolutely not necessary to remove the battery but if you feel like doing it just pull this jack back for this cable and the jack will come out you have to pull it towards the battery but I'm just going to do it without that because it's not absolutely needed. So go ahead and remove this tape, lift it up, and there's your RAM. This laptop only comes with one RAM dim, so there's not, you cannot put two RAMs in here. The way that you're supposed to remove the RAM is to pull these two triggers apart. So pull it apart and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Once you get the RAM in 45 degree angle, don't yank it up, otherwise you're going to break it. All you need to do is to pull it out in the same direction that you removed. Okay, so pull it out in the same direction. And this one is a 4 gig DDR3 RAM, so you can put a 6 an 8 gig RAM in here. That works perfectly fine. Or you can grab a 16 gig DIMM RAM and place it in here. As long as the DDR3 SD RAM, DDR3 RAM is going to work fine. And this one is 1600 millihertz. So once you got the new RAM, all you need to do make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim right here. And you want to place it in a 45 degree that you removed into the slot and push it all the way in towards the slot and then push it towards the motherboard. And you're going to hear these two clips and just clicking in just like that. So pull it apart. RAM will come out in 45, 
pull it out in 45, put it back in 45, and push it towards the motherboard. All right, and the next step would be, and the next step would be grabbing the, what's it called, the cover, and then placing it right on top. This will isolate the RAM by not touching the bottom cover. All right, once you got the cover right there, and the last thing would be grabbing the bottom cover, placing it right over. Make sure this battery, if you have disconnected the battery, plug back again the battery, make sure the cables are not in their way, on your way. Now what you wanna do, all you need to do is push down the sides, all the way down, make sure you hear those clicks. You need to hear those clicks. Don't press in the middle, there is nothing in the middle to press. All right, once you got in this position, and the last thing would be to grab the bottom screws and screw them in. And I hope you liked this video and it helped you guys upgrade your RAM for these models. If it did, I would really appreciate if you guys click that thumbs up button. And if you have any question or request, leave them in the comment area. And I will try to answer my comments all the time. And I really appreciate it again if you guys could subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. Okay, I'm just going to finish up putting the screws. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.